800 metre women's final on track and you're looking at the 19 year old A Thing Mo from Trenton, New Jersey. She is set. This could be the biggest moment of her young career. And she looks so confident when she stepped on that track in lane nine. This is Raven Roger. The Un Rogers, the University of Oregon star, her face enshrined on the Barman Tower. Her family calling the stadium Raven's Nest. She finished second in Doha at the World Championship, beating her then training partner and the pre-race favorite, Ajay Wilson. Says she's never held herself more accountable physically and mentally, and she's ready for this moment. Man, we gotta go. We gotta go. Kate Grace in lane eight. She's the defending trials champ. And here is the youngster. She has not lost an, eight, an outdoor 800 meter race since 2019 when she was 17 years old. She has put all of the records out of reach that she set at the college level, but now trying to find her way onto an Olympic team for the very first time. She just turned 19. Such a big star, someone I'm so looking forward to seeing compete. And inside of her, a woman who I'm sure she's admired for many years, Ajay Wilson went pro out of high school. And the kind of career she's had is absolutely incredible. Two-time bronze medalist at the World Championship. She's the American record holder, four-time U.S. champion. She knows how to compete at this level. She loves to take it out hard. We'll see how she does that today. This is the first time I think Mo will be in a race with women who have a PR similar to her. So we'll see how they compete. This is a very exciting final. Inside RJ Wilson is Ali Wilson, Mia Aikens, Michaela Meyer, Hannah Green on the very inside. Chanel Price in her very first trials final. And we've already mentioned Kate Grace. The American record holder gets introduced to the crowd here at Haywood Field. We've already had 15 events in which the Olympic trials record was set at these trials. The Olympic trials record in this event is 157.04 by Meredith Rainey. Back in 1996, we will keep our eye on that, as well as the American record belonging to this young woman, 155.61. I think both of those times are under threat. And I'm sure these women are thrilled that they do not have to run two laps of this track in 110 degree weather. Big change for Raven Rogers. She used to train on the East Coast with RJ Wilson. She now trains here in the Pacific Northwest. She can't leave it late. She has to keep contact through 700 meters. Women's 800 meter final is underway here at the US Olympic track and field team trials. Fourth from your right, all in blue. Just signed a big deal with Nike, going professional this week, a thing mo. And I know from watching her over the years that Ajay Wilson usually likes the front run. Oh, wow, oh. collision already, and that almost took out a thing mo. That's near Aikens. She picks herself back up and gets going. That was a hard fall. And it's Chanel Price who assumes the duty of early leader, 26-9 through 200. You never know what's gonna happen in this race, especially when they're all so close in the beginning half. A thing Mo now I wanna get clear and focus. We talk a lot about this young superstar. What makes her so special? She's so tall, she's so fast in the 400. I talk to her coaches, it's her capacity to train. No matter how much work they give her, she never gets tired. She's always able to push through. 
It's Chanel Price leading the way, a thing Mo. The thing you will notice about Mo is she never looks stressed. You don't often see her pushed. The facial expression doesn't change. She always looks in control, and that's what we're witnessing right now. And she looks like she has a lot more gears than everybody behind her now. She is really pushed through this third 200. And let's also keep an eye on Kate Grace, who's a 1,500-meter runner and knows how to finish strong. If she's in the mix, she could be in contention for this team. A thing more with a lot of daylight in front of her, and once she has space, she is going to be hard to beat. Less than 200 to go. Chanel Price all in green is running well in second. Who's going to get that top three? RJ Wilson is struggling. A thing Mo is on pace to break the American record. 155-61 is the time. Look at this. Raven Rogers gets up into second. It's all a thing Mo. Is that record going to fall? No, it's not. 156.07. A thing Mo, the 19 year old, is going to Tokyo as she demolishes this field. The trials record is gone. And a thing Mo, who just turned 19, is going to Tokyo, where she will be among the favorites. That is the second fastest ever ran by an American, and she was tripped up, Otto. She fell back. She was going to take the lead and run from the front, and she still ab was able to run the second fastest time ever and make her first Olympic team. Raven Rogers and RJ Wilson, who were at the World Championships for Team USA, they join a thing Mo in Tokyo. And how did a thing Mo run the second fastest time ever by an American? Because when she got to that third 200, she decided I am going to put space between me and everybody else. Look at the lead that she came off of the turn with. It showed up on the home straightaway, but this work was done on the back. Nobody in the frame, 19 years old, and yet, only one American has ever run faster. And Sonia, this is what she did. Staying out of trouble. She got tripped up here. Didn't throw her off that much, but that could have been fatal. Yeah, you talk about the poise that she's had. She's 19 years old in the biggest race of her life to this point, Lee. And she's able to shake it off, recover from this, get herself in a good position, and then separate from this field. We talk about her stride. This is where you get to see a thing of beauty when she's competing in the final phases of the 800. Nobody does this, Otto. She looks incredible. 400's really paying off for her in the final phase of this 800. And Ajay Wilson, the American holder, record holder, was sixth and ran herself onto the team in third. Mo's parents immigrated from Sudan more than two decades ago and a thing is the second youngest of seven children and the first in the family to be born here in the United States. She's now a Team USA Olympian at the age of 19 along with Raven Rogers and RJ Wilson. What a race from the teenager.